Hey everybody, Jen McGill is here, runner in training for marathon, video update blog number whatever, I don't know. Anyway, so today I wanted to just um, talk with you guys for a second about what I've learned through my running. Um, just finished up four miles and I'm going to be doing 16 tomorrow and you know, um, I talked last week about the 15 that I did and how at that point that was the longest and still to this minute that's the longest distance that I've ever run and I was really apprehensive and I was really um, I guess nervous would be the best way to describe it nervous before I did that 15 but then in the middle of the 15 and at the end of the 15 I was so impressed with my body I know that sounds ignore I don't know it sounds kind of silly I guess but like the more I run the more I'm just totally I don't, speechless I guess, because I can't even think of the right word to say about what my body is able to perform. Like I just say to myself, like I'm gonna go run 15 miles. Obviously six months ago, if I would have said I'm gonna go run 15 miles, like that would have been a little ludicrous. But you know, through this gradual buildup of just the training and the running, to go out and run 15 last week or 16 this week and then I even think 18 maybe on the docket for the week after that I can't remember exactly um, I'm just totally impressed with my ability to just go out there and just knock it out like we were running hills last weekend on that 15 and John was running with me he's like you are beast in those hills he's like you just went up them like it was nothing and I I don't I'm not too gloaty like I don't like that kind of a person that's just not who I am and so I was trying to downplay it but in my head I'm like dude I totally rocked those fucking hills they were awesome I had a great time running that 15 miles it wasn't fun but what I was done I was totally impressed with how I had performed and that my body held up and I didn't have a whole lot of drama and so um, that's one thing that I've learned that my body is freaking amazing and that when I put my mind to it I can do anything and that really is impressive to me which leads me to the next thing that I wanted to share with you that I've learned um, so when I was in the Marines one of the things that we always said like when we were running cadence was like um, if you don't mind it don't matter or something like that I don't know it was like a hundred years ago but um, and I never got it plus I was always so freaking tired in the middle of the runs keeping up with those guys forget about it I never I, mean, I fell back like once or twice never got in the van never got in the truck got in the van I'm pretty proud of myself to be able to say that um, but um, I never really got the whole if it don't mind you don't matter you don't mind it don't matter whatever like I didn't get it but now I get it like it's if it does if you don't think about it you just do it then it's not a thing like you're just gonna go out there and you just rock it and it doesn't matter only if you start thinking about it and stressing about it th then it becomes a thing because you fixate on it and so if you just let it go and you focus on something else then whatever you just knock it out you get it done and it's over with it's awesome and then uh, that also leads me to kind of a conversation that I was having with my dad the other day now my dad is a cyclist he's no Lance Armstrong but my dad gets out there and I'm really proud of him for getting out there and he'll go out and he'll ride like he rode with my son last weekend while I was doing my 15 they were out like riding I don't know like 12 or 15 miles on their bikes um, and so he was like god how do you do that how do you run 10 15 miles he's like I would never be able to run 10 15 miles he's like, I'd rather bike 50 than run 10 or 15 and I shared with him I said you know I have kinda learned two different things through my experience and through my reading of people who run marathons there's two types of people I think there's the type of person who can just get out there they can forget that they're running and they just do it and they just totally are in the zone and like the fact that their body is even in motion doesn't it they don't even consider that but then there's the type of runner where they just get out there and I don't know maybe every mile really sucks and they're very hyper aware of the fact that that their body has been in motion for a lot of time maybe it's a couple hours maybe it's half an hour I don't know it depends on the distance you're running like but the longer I run the more I find myself in that first category of people they like, I put my headphones on I put on a podcast of something that I want to learn about or something that I'm just interested in I don't know maybe it's NPR maybe it's someone's story from the story.org 
or um, I don't know, real estate podcast. I don't know, just whatever. I can find something different every single time I get out there. But I put a podcast on and I listen and I get so engrossed in what I'm listening to. I honestly can forget that I'm running. That's crazy. Like, how do you forget that your body is running? That's nuts. But again, that goes all the way back to what I said in the beginning of I'm just super impressed with how I can just get out there and do it. And I hope that this is not five minutes or I don't hope that you don't hear it being five minutes of me bragging about myself. That's not it at all. It's me being thoroughly and utterly impressed that that I can perform something like this. And I'll tell you, something that's already creeping into the back of my mind, and I'll wrap this up here in just a second, guys. I know I've been going on for a while now. Um, I initially took on this marathon challenge because I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to see, can I do it? And now um, I know I still have you know, to add 10 miles to to what I've run so far before I pull off a full marathon, but I'm feeling really great so far. And so I'm already a little nervous, like, shit, I'm gonna run this marathon and I'm gonna finish it and I'll be awesome as always, hello. And I'm gonna look for something bigger and better and stronger and excuse me, I just gotta figure out like, okay, where's the line? Like, I don't know. So that's something that's that's already starting to, to nudge its way into the back of my mind, but Anyway, um, there, that's everything that I've learned. I hope that I haven't yacked your ear off for six and a half minutes, but I really appreciate your time. Thanks for everyone's words of encouragement and support so far in my training. It really has meant a lot to me, and I um, can't wait to share my thoughts with you at the end of the finish line. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.